fishy folks and happy Sunday fun day to you. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Mine was slightly above average and uh, you know, there's really not much to say. I did install, if you can see back there, my natural gas ventless blue flame heater. That doesn't light. I'm not too happy with it. Pretty sure it's not my fault, but you know, not really sure yet. Anyway, before we get uh, started with the video, do me a favor, right now, Pause the video, and if you haven't already, just go ahead and obliterate the subscribe button. And then after you do that, if you haven't done so, if you've already subscribed, gently, just like a baby, boop, the notification bell. Okay? I appreciate that. And of course, when we're done, go ahead and check out michaelsfishroom.com for uh, plecos and guppies and t-shirts. And uh, there should be new items today, Sunday. Uh, uh, glass belly guppies and lemon blue eyed plecos. I saw someone um, advertise albino lemon blue eyed plecos. Well, I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. Um, like, I make up names for guppies all the time, but I don't make up a name that's not a thing, right? Like, okay, so. I've seen red cobras, red snake skins, blah, 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 right? That's a, that's all a thing, but lemon, albino lemon. I, I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. Blue eye. Pretty sure it's albino, it's got red eyes. If it doesn't, it's just a lemon. But who am I? I'm not an expert. Just a dumb guy with a camera and a sweet beard. All right, folks, so today I want to talk about uh, the Keystone Clash a little bit. If you're not aware what the Keystone Clash is, clearly you don't watch my channel. You might as well just shut the video off right now. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so the Keystone Clash was a uh, <coughs> local fish show and uh, auction and sale with a vendor room um, given by two local fish clubs and my buddy Scott and his wonderful significant other Liz ran the whole thing um, I heard it, it made a ton of money for the two clubs um, and I'm pretty excited for them now I know uh, from talking to them they're also doing uh, the ACA show at the aquatic experience which is next week next weekend in Sea Caucus New Jersey I'll be there I think a few other youtubers might be there no there's a big YouTube gathering. There's going to be a booth and we're going to be chilling and hanging out and, you know, that kind of stuff. And I'm going to be there for a while. I'm also going to be over at uh, Super Cichlids booth helping those guys. They have some exciting new products. And, uh, you know, they're my favorite people in the world. So I'm going to help them out. But So Keystone Clash. Uh, I don't know if you know there was a fish show. There were guppies. I did enter two guppies. I got uh, first place here. Let me just show you in case you can't see from back here. Look, look first place uh, in guppies and that was the rainbow dragon mosaics that I have uh, there you can find those on Michael's fish room and I also got second place here I don't, I don't know if you can see from back here so I'll just that's right second place and that was for the uh, red platinum dragon mosaic so both those fish you can buy on uh, michaelsfishroom.com I do sell pairs and trios and uh, if you buy them Today, Sunday, uh, I will ship them on Tuesday. Tuesday is the last day for shipping for me until November 5th. Uh, I have some business trip to Japan coming up for 12 days. Um, what else? Oh, and a &E, aquatic experience. So I can't ship over the weekend because I'll be in Sea Caucus uh, doing some cool stuff. So the other thing that I found in my box of stuff, <clears throat> and the reason I was going through my box of stuff I have a bin that I keep t-shirts in and some other stuff I sell at, at fish shows like the Aquatic Experience. So I found my two first place, my first place and second place medals. Yeah, pretty pretty proud and, and happy actually about them. Another thing I found in my tub were these uh, samples of Hokari Vibrobites. Now, I don't know if you've heard of these before. I have heard of them, but I've never used them. Um, it's their unique worm-like stick food. Vibra, vibrant, I guess it's supposed to bring out colors. It's got a picture of, a, I think, a Serpe Tetra, and on one side of the circle, it's really washed out at day one, but day 30, it's really bright and colorful. And, you know, it's got a picture of a discus, an angel, an electric blue ram, <clears throat> and a molly. So, you know, it must be for high quality fish, right? 
Here's the thing about Hakari, and I, I did this too when I first started. I thought Hakari was the premium brand. You know, 10 years ago or so when I kind of got back into the hobby for the first time, um, Northfin was barely on the radar. Uh, same thing with New Life Spectrum. I think our choices were Tetra, uh, Hakari, maybe Ocean Nutrition and Omega One. <clears throat> But really, Hikari was the premium brand at the time. <coughs> I'm fine. And then, uh, you know, as I started getting more knowledgeable in the hobby and doing more research and the interwebs came alive, I uh, realized Hikari really wasn't all that. In fact, it's kind of crappy. Um, but this one has 46% protein but 13% ash. Now, I've kind of explained ash in the most simplest form. Anything, any percentage that's ash is... Uh, when they've, when your fish have used everything up in the food, 13% of it, psh, nothing, zero, does nothing for them. So you got to take that into account a little bit. And 13% is pretty high. As an example, um, this Cichlid Omni Flake from Ocean Nutrition has 4%, and this Cobalt Ultra Pellet Guppy Flake has 4%. So you know three times, more than three times as much waste in this food. Anyway, the first four ingredients are pretty telling. Fish meal, which based on the protein content, I'm assume is gonna be a high quality fish meal, similar to Ocean Nutrition. I don't know this for sure, I'm just guessing. Um, krill meal, same thing there. <clears throat> but then wheat flour and flaked corn. Now we know that, that some fish foods require, all fish foods require some sort of binding agent and it's usually some type of yeast or flour or else, you know, you get nothing in the water, right? So wheat flour, flaked corn, brewer's dried yeast are three, four, and five, so. But this is interesting. There's actually vitamin guaranteed analysis on here, which I don't see on Ocean Nutrition or Cobalt. That's, that's pretty interesting. Anyway, so here's a new thing. We're gonna sample it. Not we, because that's gross. Uh, I'm gonna feed it to some fishies. I'm gonna feed it to some guppies. I'm gonna feed it to uh, probably Han and Leia. Um, and then we'll see what happens, all right? So why don't we go ahead, go ahead, and as usual, go get a nice cold beverage. Uh, actually, it's kind of chilly out. It was 40 degrees this morning. Luckily, I shipped like 13 boxes yesterday. I put heat packs in all of them. Um, Anyway, it's cold out. Go get a warm beverage, perhaps a hot cocoa with little tiny marshmallows in it, and uh, a little snack. With hot cocoa, I'd prefer uh, a brownie, a nice double chocolate brownie with, uh, with nuts. I like nuts in my brownies. And uh, get comfortable, and let's feed some fish, all right? Stand by. All right, fishy folks, here's one of my Red Cobra female tanks. I have uh, actually two of these. Um, what I do is I separate females and males, so I have a male tank. Then I have two separate female tanks, and uh, when I want more fry, I drop a male in there uh, for a couple days, and then 20 days later, 28 days later, I have fry or so. Um, there's also some calico plecos in there that are for sale on Michael's Fish Room, and I think that's about it. So here's the Viber Bites. All right here's the package. There's that fish I was talking about, nice discus. You can see in typical Japanese style, it's got a little opening thing here. Uh, you know, because I go to Japan, I get a lot of Japanese treats, candies, cookies, uh, sweets, and they always have a nice easy way to open it. So same thing here, let's let's see if it makes a noise. Wow, that was, that was a pretty good noise, huh? So let's see what it looks like. See if you can see that. No, nope, probably not. So we'll just have to pour it out of my hand. You know, I've done that many times and you guys are like, what the heck, I can't see. That's what it looks like. It's like a worm-like stick. Let's drop some in and see what happens. So it sinks. And uh, these guys are definitely going after it, but they're guppies after all. Now, let's see. Let's watch one. So it looks like the little guys <clears throat> are carrying it around waiting for it to get soft. And the big guys are also kind of carrying it around waiting for it to get soft. Oh, no, I saw a big mama chew it up. It also looks like the, uh, the plecos are going after it, which is nice. 
And they all do it sync at once, which is nice. Kind of impressed with the logistics of the food. Hmm. All right, well. Let's, uh, let's feed it to, uh, another fish. Let's go over here. This is kind of interesting. This is going to cause some controversy. Stand by. I want to show you this. All right, fishy folks. Here are some uh, male guppies I have in a tank. I really haven't named these yet. Uh, I'm still trying to make sure the females breed true enough where I can sell them as something other than mutts. Um, but also, you can see a betta in there that looks very similar to the other fish. And guess what? Everybody's okay. They've been living in harmony for about three weeks now. Actually, since the Keystone Clash, so a little bit more than a month. Let's drop some of these. Well, I tell you what, the uh, the Caligo Plickers are going to town on this stuff. Let's drop this in there and see if the betta eats it. I'm pretty sure the guppies are going to devour it as well. I wish this food was better, had better quality ingredients, but... Now, see, in here, it's not sinking as much. I guess that's because there's not as much current. In the... Uh, in the guppy and pleco tank that I first fed, the sponge filter is um, close to the front, and it's it's there's two actually, so it's causing uh, some ripples in the water. Where this one just has a, that box filter that's kind of low, because you know, plecos not plecos, bettas aren't too fond of too much current, so they're eating it. Uh, looks like that one stick he couldn't get in his mouth, so it dropped. I'm not. I, you know, I'd have to do a 30-day test and, and find a really bland fish, which, of course, I don't have because I feed high-quality food. You know, and then feed this primarily for 30 days, which I don't have and I'm not going to do. So I can't I can't test it, but they do like it. I mean, that's a good thing, right? All right. Let's see if Chewy and Han and like it, all right? Stand by. All right, fish folks. you got to excuse Han and Leia's tank. <clears throat> I had a hang on back filter that was cleaning up all the poop and, and food remains and I moved it to uh, my lemon pleco tank so I could take some pictures in there with some uh, cleaner looking water and tank and I forgot to put it back in here so then when I came over I knocked the glass with the, uh, the tripod for the camera and so it spooked them and, and they, uh, they kind of kicked up all the debris so uh, but this is what the tank looks like normally folks, you know, I don't keep my fish in pristine water so uh, Yeah, anyway, that's hand my uh, red tiger uh, Oscar and there's his woman Leia. She's an albino. I'm pretty sure She's a she because she's much smaller and he's a boy because he's much bigger If you're an Oscar guy or gal and know about that. Let me know. I'm not venting them. There's no way I don't really care that much I just call them Hannah Leia because, you know, I'm a Star Wars nerd. Anyway, let's uh, let's drop some food in here and see if they go for it. They haven't been fed today, so I'm sure they will. Although, to be honest, they don't like uh, North Fin Krill Pro too much. And um, they've started to eat much more the Ultra Pellet Predator food from Cobalt. I did sort of review and they didn't really care for it. They didn't really eat it, but... <clears throat> Now they do, so I don't know what was wrong that day. I'm not saying they love it, but they definitely eat it now. So, all right, let's drop some of these Viber bites in there and see what happens. And sees them immediately. Leia doesn't really come out except to eat. Um, <clears throat> so if they drop, she'll probably come out. But they're falling on the other side of her cave, so she might not see them. He's uh, he's not impressed. Not impressed at all. You know what he does love? They both love the... Um, I just picked one off the bottom. Oh, here she comes. They do love the North Fin Cichlid Pellet. Uh, what do I have? Two mil? Yeah, two millimeter. They love that. And it sinks. I like that food because it sinks so I can feed it to Plecos too. Alright, well they're eating it. They got a taste and like, all right, this is not bad. All right. I mean, they didn't devour it like the, uh, she went back in her cave even. I'm not so sure she likes it. He's eating it, but he's like me. He'll eat anything. Looks like bacon. I'll eat it. All right, fishy folks. Let's, uh, let's feed one more tank. Stand by.
All right, fishy folks, here are the second place winners. These are the uh, Platinum Red Dragon Mosaics. They won second place at the Keystone Clash in the Cuppy Class. And uh, the females are also quite spectacular. Uh, nice big tail, lots of pattern in the tail. The males obviously have those fantastic Dumbo uh, ears, <clears throat> the uh, pectoral fins. Real nice dorsal fins and, of course, gorgeous tails. So, all right, folks, that's enough talking about the fish. Let's drop some in there. And there's also uh, uh, albino plecos grass in here, so if, if it sinks, they'll eat it up. There's some on the bottom right there with the snails chilling. But these guys are going after the food. I mean, other than the Oscars, everyone else has really loved the food. I'm just, I'm not impressed with the ingredient list. I guess that's what I want to say, so. Uh, but ultimately, caring for your fish, husbandry of your fish is your responsibility. You gotta do what you gotta do. If I got a, a crap ton of samples of this stuff, I would definitely feed it. Um, I would not primarily feed it, but I would definitely, I mean, I would not exclusively feed it, but I would definitely feed it, so. I'm gonna finish up this bag and uh, feed the rest of the fish in the fish room. And then uh, go edit this video. It's uh, Sunday morning about 6 a.m. Actually, it's probably about 7 by now. And uh, edit this video. Hopefully have it out for you today, this afternoon. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com. Check out my friends Lisa and Martin at Super Cichlids. And don't forget to check out Scott and Liz, the king and queen of cichlids, my boy IFG. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. All right, fishers, folks, we're here in front of one of my red cobra female guppy tanks. Uh, also, there's some calico plecos in here. And um, why did I pause? Let's start over. <coughs> Much better. All right. <clears throat> Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Hope everyone had a great week, great weekend, great everything. I know mine was slightly above average. Uh, today, I want to talk about the Keystone Clash a little bit. But before we begin, do me a favor. Go over to your computer or wherever you watch YouTube. Wherever you're watching this video, I should probably start over because you're already at your computer or wherever you watch YouTube. So <coughs> I'm fine. Stand by. <coughs> so another thing I found in the bin was these uh, Sampr San Brit Vibra Bright Bites Brights. Wheat flour, flaked corn, 